Hey everybody, uh, good to have you here today for another Bible Q&A on the porch. Nice chilly day here in North Carolina. The question today is, what does the Bible mean when it says, by the renewing of your mind? What does it mean to renew your mind? If you have a mind, do you go renew it like you would renew a library book or you would renew a lease? I mean, how do you renew your mind? Uh, Romans 12 uh, verses 1 and 2. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, ho holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. So here we see in Romans 12, Paul is asking the brethren, those that are saved, uh, by the mercies of God to present themselves as a living sacrifice. Well, what does that mean? If you're alive and you're a sacrifice, that means that you are crucifying the flesh. You are crucifying those desires in your life that are sinful, that are not godly. And you're pursuing the things of God. You're pursuing God's ways instead of your ways. You have to understand first that man's ways are at odds with God. Uh, enmity is the Bible war word, which means like warfare. And so man's ways are at odds with God. Man naturally doesn't want to do what God wants or needs him to do to be holy. So man has to decide in their mind by renewing their mind to live for Christ. That means to die to self. And verse 2 of uh, Romans 12, and be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So it says to be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What does that mean? That means not to be the same. And so when we renew our mind, what it's really saying is that we change the way that we think, to change the way that we look at how uh, the world works and how we fit into it. And no longer do we look for things for self-gain or things for worldly pleasures or worldly ac accomplishments or whatever it is, but we change by the living sacrifice within us uh, to be more like God. And you say, Brother Clark, that's really hard. How am I going to do that? Good news. You don't have to do it alone. God will do it with you. God will co come before you, as the Bible says, and will help you and make a way for you if you're willing, if you're willing to renew your mind. That's why Paul is asking them. He says, I beseech you. He's like begging them, saying, look, brothers in Christ, those that are saved, change your ways. Don't go about living like you did before you were saved. You're a Christian now. You need to live differently. You need to renew that mind, and you need to live for the ways of Christ. And you say, well, what's, what does the Bible say about how God's going to help me or go before me? I've heard this. What does that mean? Well, when you get saved, you have the Holy Spirit working within you. Uh, and the Holy Spirit, you don't want to grieve the Holy Spirit. That's when you're sinning and stuff. You grieve the Holy Spirit. And you don't want to quench the spirit. That's when you're getting on fire for God and say, oh, I better calm down. But you want to live for God and you want to enrich the Holy Spirit by staying in his word, keeping your mind on the things of God and staying afar off from sin. And that is how you renew your mind. That's how God will refresh you daily as mercies are new every day and how we go about this Christian life. Yes, it can feel like we're swimming upstream sometimes. And yes, it can be hard to live a life with a renewed mind. But God calls us to do it. Paul is begging us to do it because it is not just for his glory, but it's for our benefit. And as we understand that God has put in his word a benefit for us, a wonderful task for us to do, and, and for our benefit, then we will want to do it more and more. And we will go out and we'll serve the Lord gladly. And we'll say, you know what? This is great. Uh, my mind is renewed. I'm living for God. I'm happy to live for God. I no longer have the same desires that I once had. I, don't, I no longer want the same things that I once wanted. Uh, all I want is Christ to be glorified. And that's the idea in scripture when I believe it's in James, uh, it mentions that uh, we, we live perfectly wanting nothing. And so you might say, well, I, I didn't start out the day wanting nothing. But the idea is you can have peace in your heart that you won't want anything else besides Jesus. And that starts with renewing your mind. And the answer is, how do you renew your mind? You turn towards the ways of God once you've been saved. You enrich the Holy Spirit, not grieve it. And you live for him. And he, through the working of the Holy Spirit, uses you and empowers you and your mind to do great things for him and to live as he wants you to live. And by the way, that's the most joyful way to live. So it's a double purpose or double benefit. I hope this was helpful. Thank you for tuning in and I'll talk to you soon.